Hi everyone. So today I am here to talk to you about the Little Bow Leisure Top Handle Bag by Kufit. So this bag is a very small compact bag. The color of this bag is rose. It has a black handle with a black bow and gold accents. Other colors that this bag comes in is beige and black. Looking at this bag, you see that it's very small and compact. If you look at it from multiple angles, you look at it from this angle, you look at it from the next angle, and you look at it from the next angle, and you look at it from up top. You see this is a very small and compact bag, which means that you need to put only the essentials in this bag and really nothing more and I would say that's the biggest disadvantage of this bag despite it being the favorite favorite of all time favorite bag of my collection I love the style I've gotten multiple compliments on it but there just isn't a lot of room so to give you more of a sense of the inside of this bag, I'm going to shine a flashlight inside the bag for you to get a better understanding. So I have a flashlight here and hopefully you can see that there is a small, uh, well, yeah, a small compartment in the middle of this bag right here. And this compartment is completely zippered and this is where I would store all my essential items. So that means my keys, my phone, my wallet, I try to keep stored in this bag in the middle of the two compartments on the left and the right. If you look at the wall here, you'll see another zippered compartment and this is where you can store prescriptions, loose change, things of that nature. If you look, if I turn this around, you will see some cubbies. So if I stick my finger in here, I'm not sure if you can see this or not, but there are some small cubbies the inside of this bag that you can use to hold pens, paper, miscellaneous items. So that is the, you know, the, the, the inside of the bag. And by the way, the bag, the bag's inside is made of satin. So that's the material on the inside of the bag. As far as zippering the bag, there is a zipper on the outside here, and I think I can turn my flashlight off now. There's a zipper here, and this zipper is designed to zipper all the way across, so it is completely zippered. So I am going to attempt to do this on camera right now. So you see it kind of zipped it a little bit, and it's hard to do this on camera, but I think I'm getting it slowly but surely. And you're seeing how it's kind of zippering across for me right now. I am left-handed, so I completely zippered this across. And you see on either side, there is a, a, a button here that is supposed to snap into place that keeps everything contained inside the purse because if it's not buttoned here then that means that things can fall out to give an example if I open this up here then there is a big gaping hole for me to stick my hand in so that's why it's important to keep everything buttoned down inside the bag but with that being said everything will be contained inside and it is a very stylish bag that you can put on your forehead, forearm and you can, you know, carry around. That said, the, the tops handles of this bag have been frayed. And this is because I've put way too much stuff in this bag and I have really weighed the bag down beyond the capacity of the handles 
to compensate for the weight inside the bag. So it's really important to only put in the essentials in this bag so that you avoid this from happening. But other than that, I would categorize, categorize this as a very cute spring bag and is something that I would recommend that you gift to family and to friends. I have gotten numerous compliments about this bag. It's something that when I found it online, I was instantly drawn to it because of the bow. It is so cute. It is super, super cute. So, guys, if you have a girlfriend, I would highly recommend you get this bag for them because it is absolutely amazing. Trying to think about some other features uh, of this bag that I've forgotten to talk, I've forgotten to talk about. I will mention, I think it's kind of self-explanatory, but it is a self-standing bag. So there are a lot of bags out there that are made out of material that flop when you set them down. But this bag is self-standing, so you can easily pick it up and then you can walk out the door. Thinking about other different aspects of this bag. Yep actually right here so there's actually two these were and, and when I originally got this bag there was a strap that came along with it that was supposed to weave between this handle and this handle here so there was a strap and that way you could make it into a shoulder bag but I chose to forego that and I took off the strap that connected the two and then I just made it into a simple handbag that I just rest on my forearm and I walk down the street. So this is my review of this bag and I absolutely love it and I hope you enjoyed hearing me talk about it.